What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you who I believe will be winning this year's Royal Rumble. Let's get right into this. So up first is Bobby Lashley. Since he returned to the WWE, he's had a very interesting outlook. In 2019, he is a two-time Intercontinental Champion. In later 2019, however, he had that very cringy storyline with Lena and Rusev. Apparently, it was WWE's way to try to make Rusev re-sign with the WWE. For me, I think it was very cringy. Uh, I think it was not in good taste. A lot of people thought it was disgusting. I was not a fan of it. I honestly did not enjoy it. However, I feel like Bobby Lashley has a lot to give in the WWE if WWE, if WWE were to push him a little bit more. I think he's fully capable of winning the Royal Rumble, and I really hope he does so because him winning the Royal Rumble will just add another thing to his resume. But also, if he were to win the Royal Rumble and go on to win the championship at WrestleMania, it would be his first time winning a World Heavyweight Championship in the WWE other than the ECW Championship, which WWE currently counts as a World Championship. And I really would like to see Bobby Lashley go on to win the Royal Rumble, and then go on to face Brock Lesnar for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. And that would be his the first time he has held that title. I feel like Bobby Lashley does not have that many years left in the WWE. And by winning the Royal Rumble and hopefully winning the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania will just be one more accomplishment that Bobby Lashley has gotten before leaving the WWE. Because I feel like he will be leaving in the near future. Next up is Cesaro. Since 2019, Cesaro is back in singles competition because Sheamus is out on injury. So I feel like Cesaro has a lot to prove. Cesaro is fully capable of winning the Royal Rumble. He's very strong. He has the ability. And since he's back in singles competition, I feel like if he were to win the Royal Rumble, that would boost his career even more. And to go on to face the Universal Championship at WrestleMania, I think that would be awesome. Whoever the champion is at WrestleMania, whether it is Bray Wyatt, The Fiend, or if it is somebody else, if somebody beats The Fiend before WrestleMania. I honestly feel like I would love to see Cesaro face whoever the Universal Champion is at WrestleMania for the championship, and to have Cesaro win, I think that would be epic. Next up is Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is just a beast and very aggressive in the ring, and I think if he were to focus his attention in the Royal Rumble, and try to get as many eliminations as he can, and also try to not get eliminated, and try to focus on his attacks more than anything, I think he can definitely try his best to win the Royal Rumble. It definitely depends on when he enters the Royal Rumble, but I think he can do a lot of damage if he were in the Royal Rumble, and hopefully go on to win the Royal Rumble. If he does win the Royal Rumble, just like Bobby Lashley, I would hope to see that Samoa Joe were to face Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania in the main event. I know they've fought before, but honestly, I feel like Samoa Joe beating Brock Lesnar for the championship at WrestleMania in the main event would be awesome to see, especially if Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe did it because he won the Royal Rumble. I think that would be, in my opinion, very epic to see. And the last one on my list of who I think should win the Royal Rumble is Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, since returning to the WWE, has been a force to reckon with. He's done some great things in NXT, and then he came up to the main roster. He's done some interesting things in the main roster, but he hasn't delivered much as of late. I don't know if WWE is just not pushing him or kind of pushing other people and kind of sleeping on him. I honestly don't know what they're doing or what they're expecting to do with him. But for me, I think he, since he is a bigger guy now, especially since his return, I feel like he could do a lot of damage in the Royal Rumble. He could definitely get a bunch of elimination, eliminations under his belt, which I think would be epic to see him do, since he is bigger at least and taller and muscular now. I think he can do a lot. And if he were to win the Royal Rumble, I honestly feel like he should go on to face the Universal Champion at WrestleMania. Again, whoever that is at the time. I don't know if The Fiend Bray Wyatt is going to keep the championship until WrestleMania or keep the championship long to begin with. But whoever the Universal Champion is at WrestleMania, if Drew McIntyre wins the Royal Rumble, I feel like that's who he should face because I honestly feel like Drew McIntyre should be in a World Heavyweight 
championship picture, whether that is the World Heavyweight or the Universal Championship. So by winning the Royal Rumble, he would at least have another chance for that title. So these are who I think should win the Royal Rumble match this year. These are my official predictions. Hopefully one of them does come true because I would like to see either one of these four guys win the Royal Rumble and go on to WrestleMania to win the championship. But, you know, anything can happen at the Royal Rumble. People can get eliminated very easily. And just because you win the Royal Rumble does not mean that you will win the match at WrestleMania and become a new champion. But it is always hopeful to see somebody do so. So comment down below who you feel is going to win the Royal Rumble. Leave your predictions down below. And I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.